Last day, I want to please rise. We're going to have a few locations that like Thomas Macara. I just pledge of allegiance that like Thomas last week. Last Tuesday, our paramedic had lost his father, Leonard Stegerwall. He's joined me in a moment, a moment of silence in honor of Kevin's father.
from here. Uh, that's a good way for us to
knowing it was a snowstorm, I understood. It took then three and a half hours to come here, come to my mother's house for these people that are lined up. Not at my mother's house, at somebody else's house. I took pictures tonight of the drugs that are coming and going on my mother's street. It's got to stop. Now, they were just called there the other day for another odor investigation. I don't sleep at my mother's house. I live there right now with her. And it's traffic all night, all day. It's disgusting. I don't know what I'm going to, what can I do? The costs never come, so what do I do? Somebody needs to help me out here. Because let me tell you, if an ambulance cannot get to my mother's, or if the meth lab blows up across the street and they get to my mother's house, or the little old lady down back, or Justin Starzl's grandfather's, you better believe this girl's going on the warpath. And I'm not kidding. I don't know what to do in this situation, but I about had it. Because next time I'll call them the state policemen. That's all I can do. And I called the cops yesterday about the cars down there again, and an officer never even called me back. I got the comm center, and the comm center said, what's your name and your phone number? And I gave him my name and phone number, and a police officer never even called me back. And I'm, I'm not lying to you. Just today alone, before I came here, I stood at the window clicking pictures of them. And there was three cars waiting in line to get their shipment. I even have pictures of them handing this stuff in. Two of them standing on the street smoking it. What am I supposed to do? Um, all you can do is notify the police. Our police are very aggressive with the drug enforcement. So well, they notify the police. Somebody better do something soon about up there because if not, I'm, I'm being honest, I'll probably end up in jail because I'm going to go on the war path up there. And I'm not, I'm not lying to anybody. It's terrible. My mother is dying, and I have to put up with this. My mother does not need this in her neighborhood. It's sickening. Nobody needs it in their neighborhood. Thank you. Anybody else from the floor? Hi. <clears throat> Shelly Bonds, or 419 North Elizabeth. Everybody knows she's my sister. We're extremely worried about my mother because she is very ill. We've had ambulances. Ricky, the night of the, the, night of the storm, the plows were going around these cars, like around the cars. They're lined up constantly. Four o'clock in the morning, almost every other night, someone is out there in a truck honking the horn, banging on, like going down into, banging on doors, comes out, I mean, my mom's sick. She doesn't need this aggravation. She just doesn't need it. Yeah, and um, I usually go up to my, you know, check on my mom before I go to work, 4, 430. The other night I was petrified to get out of my car because there was someone coming down the side of the garage. Like, we don't even know where these people are coming from, but they're creeping there at all hours. Um, we're, Pat, we're, he has the garage right across from the house. We were afraid somebody was living in the bottom of it. You know, we're just... Send some more activity up that way. They're coming from down back. There's, I, I don't know. They, there's an old breaker that used to be there. That's what I'm told. I'm really not from down here. You know, I came from Summit Hill, but I've been here a long time. And wherever this breaker is, that's where they're cooking up this mess now. They are in and out of down. They go down and over. Down over the bank. And something else I wanted to say to, to Chris, um, I would absolutely, Diane would do anything we could to help raise some funds for homeless. That uh, one particular man in Tamaqua, I pay for his Dunkin' Donut every day. I leave a gift card there for him. I've offered him clothes. I've taken him food. But uh, if if you want to get a committee together, we'd definitely be willing to help. Thank you. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, I mean, the gentleman standing alongside me, he's already very involved with, with the volunteer 
uh, and helping in this same situation. So I'll, I'll reach out to you and then we'll get together. All right. Who they help you. Thank you. Anybody else? My name is Diane Fudge, um, 500 Anderson Street. Your response to Michelle's complaint was, all you can do is call the police. That's not, she did, she has, other people have. It's time to find out how to take the, the next step. Because we do call the police. And the police will take the next step. We're not going to discuss that. Well. Okay, I took that with one statement. Yeah. And another and statement. Some when you say we're going to contact the police, it doesn't mean anything. And this our, our police department does a really good job with the drug work. Every time we have a drug arrest, people come in right behind them. In our area, up in North Ward, let me tell you, they do a fantastic job. So, so I don't, I this don't is that, different. I don't want that to sound oh, like, no. like a non-response. Right. No, okay. Well, that's what, how it came. In my opinion. Okay. And one more thing, Chris. Um, I think a good idea would be to get the churches involved in raising money too. I'll bet you that would be a super. And the church, we do have the, the uh, Tomorrow for Faith Fellowship Network uh, program, and I, I think that is, is, a, is a great uh, place to, to start. start. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? I have one thing to say. Tomorrow for do do their job when it comes to busting for drugs. I will say that. And, you know, they people don't realize. I had a family member that went to jail for drugs. Let me tell you, when one gets caught, Three more move into your neighborhood. Don't let nobody fool you, because she told me that herself. So I'm not blaming the cops. I really ain't. So I just want that clear. Oh, I, you know, Anybody else? Yeah, I uh, just want to get out the, the, the homeowners in the, the borough. The uh, department receives more smoke detectors. So if anybody needs to see the detectors, not renters, just homeowners. And, uh, Contact the local company and we'll it. The only stipulation is the company has to install it. The fire company guys have to install it. Anybody else? Most of this report.